Welcome back to another video guys, a little late getting this video out this month but I've got four colours from this is the House of Fun collection from Madame Glam and it is full of fun colours, they've even gone with the fun fancy pants labels again this month, I do wish they'd stick with that, the fancy labels, right colours I've gone for Eden Garden, Celestial Jungle, Daystar and Fire Sign really bright fun colours, a mixture of candy colours and neons this month I think so for anybody that's new, Madame Glam gels are all vegan, cruelty free, they're hemma free, palm oil free and they're a 21 toxin free formula they are huge 15ml bottles, really good sized bottles so I'm just going to give these four colours just a quick quick swatch and I just wanted to do a nice cutesy quick and a little bit easy uh, gel polish set today the coverage on these gels I say it every month they're just such a pleasure to use look at this one this is one of those yeah it's not a yellow neon it's not a green neon somewhere in the middle I love these kind of neons and they are so creamy neons cannot can be a bit jellified can't they um, but Madame Glam Neons, they're just always fantastic, aren't they? And I would call this one a neon pastel. Um, yeah, like a peachy neon pastel, would you say? Not sure, but I like it. I used this one today, actually, in today's design. I used this one. And this last one, the camera did it no justice. It is so bright. So much brighter than what you're seeing. And again, it's a creamy, really pigmented uh, neon. It's just not got any sheerness to it or jelly like it's just look at that for one coat of a bright neon right so that's all four colors together there do you know what i love this yellowy green and it's like a cherry neon red i love them two colors together i really want to do a design using those two colors that would be some wacky design wouldn't it right so i'm going with extra long tips today guys i'm going to use this one out of the new collection and this is Lavender Springs and I've pulled out Crystal Ball gorgeous colours and one of my favourite pinks, Tulips it's like a pinky purple one of my favourites from Madame Glam so that's the four colours that I've gone with today and as my base colour one of my favourite nudes, Seek and See love this, it's nearly empty actually, I need a refill so all four nails are going to get a coat of this um, I'll just show you doing this one nail guys, they're all going to be the same right, I've just wiped that tacky layer off because I'm going in with Madame Glam's velvet matte top coat and I don't like getting tacky layers in my matte top coats because sometimes you get a bit of colour that comes off your tacky layer on your gel polish so I always get rid of that tacky layer when I'm using matte top coat so I want this um, set to be matte so again they're all going to get a coat of the matte top coat right so I'm going to start with that purple Every nail is going to be the same, just different colours and I want to paint half, just half a free edge so just like a French tip but half so I'm starting with my smile line on this one and I'm just doing half a smile line just like that I did start with the, the straight line down the middle on the rest of the nails it was easier than doing the smile line first and then I'm just going to do a straight line straight down the middle like that so it's just like a french tip but half just half and then i'm going to color that in I, I did start coloring it in with the liner brush look and i thought what are you doing <laughs> so i used the brush out the bottle and just color all that in and then i think i just tidied it up a little bit again with the liner brush and then that's gone in the lamp for 30 seconds and same thing i'm going to use this color now and do the middle nail I will just show you doing this one instead of starting with the smile line on this one look I started with the line straight down the middle so much easier 
so yeah i'll just show you doing this one and i'll do the other two off camera i'm going to use that bluey bluey greeny color and the pink that i showed you earlier So that's them all done. I'm going to give them all, again, a coat of matte top coat because that gel polish obviously is shiny and I want these nails matte. And this matte top coat just helps level, smooth the nails out again as well. So all four nails, matte top coat, and they're going to get a 30 seconds cure. Right, so now I've pulled out Madame Glam's white gel paint and I've just put a little bit on my palette and I'm just going to outline the, the half a French tip but I want the middle line to go straight up to the top of the cuticle area. This was quite difficult actually to match the lines up. Straight up to the top like that and I'm going to outline the other half, the curvy bit, the smile line bit and again, I'm going to do that on all four nails. And the reason I've used Madame Glam white gel paint is because I wanted this white to be glossy. And Madame Glam gel paints are fantastic for that. They cure glossy with no tacky layer. I like the glossy outline up against that matte background. So I've just skipped a couple of nails. I'll just show you doing the pinky. And these gel paints need a 60 seconds cure. Right guys, so that is um, all four of those nails done. Not done, but half done. <laughs> right, I'm using a dotting tool now and I'm doing quite, I'm doing half a flower to start with and I'm, I'm using five dots on this top flower. The top flower is gonna be the biggest flower. I've used five dots and I've just marked out where I want the middle to be. And I just use them dots pull down the middle and down each side and turn it into a teardrop easy easy way to do your petals pull down the middle and then pull down each side of that dot use the gel that's in that dot pull down the middle and down each side like that easy easy way to do flowers and I'm not going to cure these flowers I'm going to leave them wet I wanted them to have that matte kind of embossed 3D embossed kind of look so I'm going to sprinkle them with clear acrylic so I've not cured that, that's been left wet. And just sprinkle your clear acrylic into it and give it two or three seconds to soak in and then give it a second sprinkle and tap off all that excess and give it a double cure in the lamp just to make sure it fully cures through that acrylic. So I've just skipped forward one flower because they're all going to be the same. These are smaller flowers, I'm just using four dots on these smaller ones um, and same same thing exactly the same way I did that purple one mark the middle it makes it so much easier if you mark the middle rather than trying to visualize it in your head it's so much easier to just mark out where you want that middle place middle spot to be and to pull all them petals into that middle very very easy they are very very easy flowers to do they're just very slow and time consuming I've got these speeded up by three they are really sl I I'm slow it might just be me <laughs> I'm really slow at doing them but slow and steady wins the race and it keeps them neat and tidy so a quick sprinkle with acrylic I'm going to do one more flower on the bottom of this nail and every nail is going to be the same just a different color flower at the top to match the free edge 
So that's that nail completely done now. I've done the little peachy flower at the bottom. So I've done all the other nails off camera now, guys, because it's so repetitive. 16 hand-painted flowers. Right, and I've pulled out my favourite little plastic flowers. We've got pink and purple. And I even had turquoise blue and peach to match. Perfect. And I'm going to use some AB rhinestones. So I'm just going to put a teeny little flower right there in the middle of that smile line flash cure it do the next one flash cure it i'm putting a little caviar bead in between these flowers as well look a little bit of rhinestone glue and then a little silver caviar bead in the middle and yeah i'm just going to stick a cuticle cuff now on all the nails and i'm going to put little caviar beads in between all my rhinestones i think it just makes them flow so much better uh, so i'll let you watch for a sec So there we go guys, that is then finished. It is actually quite an easy set to do, just um, slow and time consuming, but I, I would say it's definitely quite an easy set to do. Um, and I absolutely love them. Did I mention I love them? <laughs> anyway guys, that is it for today. Madam Glam collection is out now, it's been out for a few days, I am well late. Link and discount code will be in my description box. Please remember to give the video a quick thumbs up guys, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hopefully I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care, bye.